in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to insert images into Cricut Design Space. So let's get started. Let's learn about inserting images into the Cricut Design Space canvas. This is something you're going to do a lot, especially when creating your own designs. So when you go over to the left-hand design panel, choose images, and you'll see a few different ways to search through designs. First, let's talk about the filters over here on the left-hand side to help you browse for images. A few of the really helpful filters for beginners are under image complexity to choose simple, and then under layers to choose single. If you're a beginner in Cricut Design Space, I really recommend that you stick with single color, simple images until you get the hang of using the material that you're cutting and your Cricut machine. That's gonna make sure that you get more comfortable before things get multicolored and complex. Another important filter to utilize is under ownership to choose free. If you know exactly what type of image you wanna search for, you can use the search bar in the top of the screen to find it. So I'm gonna search in Love Paw because that's the type of design I'm looking for. And then you can scroll down through all the images that come up in the search results. I'm gonna choose this one by clicking it and it's gonna highlight all green for me. And then I'm gonna choose insert images. Once you have the image on your canvas, next you can customize it. So you can use the arrows in the bottom right hand corner of the bounding box. And the bounding box is just this box all the way around the image that shows it's selected. These arrows are gonna resize your image in proportion just like this. If you know exactly what size you wanna make your image, you can also go to the edit panel toward the top and actually type it in. If you wanna change the proportions of your image, you can do that by clicking the lock in the lower left-hand corner of the bounding box. Then you can stretch your image using the arrows on the right, either down to make it taller or to the side to make it wider. Then once you choose the proportions of your image, you can re-click the lock right here so that you can resize it again in proportion. If you wanna rotate your design, you can do that using the arrows in the upper right-hand corner of the bounding box. And another important feature of customizing your designs is being able to change the color. So underneath operation, if you click the box to the right, you can change the color of the design. I recommend changing the design to the color of material that you're gonna be cutting the image out of. I hope that you are more comfortable now with inserting images into Cricut Design Space. As a crafter, I found that the best way to learn is just to start trying. So jump on into Cricut Design Space and start making.